This video is sponsored by thesnug.com for all your iPad accessories. Hello there, David Thompson here from the world of tech.net. In this video, I'm going to be taking out a protection solution for the iPad 2, and this is a case from thesnug.com. So first things first, you can get a whole range of cases from the stug.com. They've got a whole range of budget, cheap cases, and they're all very high quality. Here I have specifically the squared skinny fit protective case. So this isn't a full-on flip case. This is just a back cover case, and it's made of silicon plastic. So as you can see, hence the word squared. There's lots of squares on the back of the case. Um, for protection purposes, not just design purposes, it does look great, but it also actually has a um, significant role in protecting your iPad. So if we just slot the iPad in very easily like so, and it is really as simple as that, I'm sure you've seen that many times before. Um, first thing you'll notice is this rim around the edge, it doesn't intrude on the iPad too much, it stays on the edge, it doesn't come right up the plastic front, the plastic bezel, unlike some other cases which really it's horrible. Other cases do it and it doesn't look very nice whatsoever. And of course the home button is nicely a nice ditch there for the home button. So if we flip it over and take a look at the cutouts on the bottom, here we have the speakers and the port dock connector. That is perfectly fine, them cutouts, they're perfect. Here we have a random cutout, but it I have found it's not for anything, but it does supply quite a nice grip, so I've got no objections to that. Here we have the volume up and down don't know why there isn't a cutout there there's just a rubber button there here we have the lock button rear facing camera microphone and of course that random one again so taking a look at the back of the case here we have all these squares now these look great but they're also going to protect your iPad so if you put it on a wet surface they're going to protect it if you put it on a rough surface they are going to protect it and also it doesn't get all muck caught to it unlike other pr cases which it really isn't nice the case ends up just as really dirty beyond dirty beyond cleaning point and then you've got to buy a new one after a matter of a few weeks of heavy use now you will notice that these squares are bordering on rectangles as opposed to these squares and that makes it really comfortable to hold in the hand and I've got to say it, you honestly feel as if this iPad isn't going to slip out your hands you get a great grip of the iPad with these squares another thing is this is going to protect it from minor drops but from any heavy drops no case is going to protect your iPad apart from the super heavy duty cases which are fairly expensive However, it is going to protect it from all scruffs and scuffs and scratches because of the wonderful design here. One problem I don't like with the back of the case is this big large snug logo. Seriously. I've got no objection with companies putting their logo on the product because it's their work of art, it's their piece, it's their product, but in red, a big snug in red text, it doesn't look very nice at all and it really does take a lot off the style of the iPad, I've paid a lot of money for the iPad to put this case on here to have a big snug logo on. Really do not like that. Maybe make it more discreet, maybe make a logo or have it in grey or something which at least blends in with the style of the rest of the iPad and the case. Red? Where did the red come from? Anyway, moving on. It's a brilliant case, it feels it looks stylish, it feels stylish, you can grip it really easy, and it comes in at just £18.99, which is a very reasonable price for a case like this. I'm very fond of this case, except that snug logo there. Nice to hold, nice to carry around, and it's going to protect it most of all. So be sure to follow us on Twitter at World of Tech UK. Also be sure to follow The Snug on Twitter. It's at The Snug. So you can tweet them and ask them about their products. And also be sure to check out their other products, thesnug.com, because they don't do that on all of their products. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.